The fire department rescued people and evacuated others. Fears remain, though, that another line of storms will be too much for the river and those surrounding communities. And another line of storms is something that Storm Shield Meteorologist George Flickinger is tracking for later this afternoon. But in the meantime, yes, just enjoy the fact <laughs> that we have a blue sky and we really haven't experienced that in some time. Great to see the sunshine today. Oh, yeah. And some of the good news, I don't think we're going to see any overly heavy amounts of rain with the rain that we'll be that tracking for later today. However, that is going to change for later this week, and it's not what we need, but more storms. Also want to update you, Max, on the severe weather. You've been keeping track of our severe weather season. So far, Max, we've had 40 tornadoes across the state this year. It's been busy. It's much more than we had last year. And if you're wondering, here in Oklahoma, we average 55 tornadoes per year. So we're, oh, and that's for an entire year. So overall, we're running a little ahead of schedule on that. The most was back in 1999. Of course, if you were in Oklahoma, you probably very well remember May 3rd, 1999. That was the day of all the tornadoes through central Oklahoma, including the one which went through Moore and Bridge Creek. Updating you on the rain, I have updated these totals since yesterday's news. We picked up a tenth of an inch of rain last Last night, so we're now at 1195 for the month. Third wettest on record with the expected rain the next few days. We're going to jump into second place for the wettest May of all time here in Tulsa. Now for today, we're not going to see that much rain and it's going to be dry for the first part of the afternoon. Between 4 and 11, we're going to see hit and miss thunderstorms. The rain total should be fairly low if you do get rain. Then for Thursday through Saturday, that's when we're going to track for you chances for heavy rain. It looks like that for Thursday through Saturday, one to three inch totals are going to be most common. And while that's not a tremendous amount of rain, it's going to be falling on top of the saturated ground. So, so flash flood warnings will be highly likely coming up for Thursday through Saturday and especially Friday and into Saturday. We'll keep you updated on the potential for flooding later this week. Wish I had better news for you, but unfortunately more rain is headed our direction. At least we're off to a nice start today, enjoying the sunshine. There are a few showers out in western Oklahoma. I'll get to those shortly. By the way, if you have a flight into Houston, still a lot of delays being reported. The weather has cleared up in Houston, but there's still a lot of flooding on the interstates in Houston, so a lot of folks can't even get to the airports. So Hobby on the south side of downtown is still seeing some flight delays. As far as our weather in Oklahoma, we are tracking a few small showers out in the western part of the state, but it's this afternoon in which we'll see a few strong thunderstorms developing in western in Oklahoma. Some of those thunderstorms will arrive here. However, it's just going to be the hit and miss coverage, so don't cancel any outdoor plans you have for this evening. But keep in mind, a few thunderstorms will move in from the southwest and west after 4 p.m. in eastern Oklahoma. Nice warm up. Temps are now in the lower 70s. Bartlesville is up to 73, a touch cooler east. Tahlequah, Pryor, and Muskogee have temps in the upper 60s. And as Max was talking about, there it is. Soak it up. The beautiful blue sky that we have right now across Tulsa. We have a temp of 71. The air is a little drier today than the last few days, though it's still fairly humid. The breeze is fairly light. On the future track, stopping this at 5 p.m., notice that most of us are dry, but we are going to be tracking for thunderstorms forming in western Oklahoma. Toward 9 p.m., scattered thunderstorms, nothing overly ominous, but a few thunderstorms will be possible. That rain is going to diminish after midnight. As far as tomorrow's weather, most of tomorrow is going to be dry, then thunderstorms are going to form in western Oklahoma. Those storms arrive here by tomorrow night and into Thursday morning. So thunderstorms possible toward and after 5. Temps warming into the lower 80s this afternoon. Not much of a breeze, 5 to 15 miles an hour. Around the rest of green country, lower 80s Bartlesville, Muskogee also in the lower 80s. Evening thunderstorms possible, then drier after midnight with lows in the lower 60s. The 7-day forecast shows more rain. Today and tomorrow, mainly dry, then increasing thunderstorms by Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. One to three inch totals will be most common. And as we get closer toward Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, we'll be able to better pinpoint who could be getting the most rain during that time. Whew. Getting uh, tired of looking at that. Umbrella. We keep saying every day to grab your umbrella and uh, may need a new umbrella after this spring. Gotten so much use. You're right, George. You've been busy. Thank you very much. Sure. We'll take one more look outside because we really want to.